Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my brand new React JS course. What is this React JS? So React JS is a JavaScript library for building the user interfaces. If you click on the Get Started, you will be able to see the documentation of the React JS. Let's try to see what is this React. What is the history of this React? Why I need to use this React JS? Instead of having this Vue.js and Angular and all those things, why we need to use this React.js? Let's try to see what is the difference between the other frameworks or libraries rather than this React.js. Let's try to see in this video. Now, if I come here, so I have developed a simple presentation. Let's try to see here. What is a React? So, React is nothing but it's a JavaScript library for building the user interfaces. So you need to remember that React is not a framework, it is just a library. So for us, we have an angle, it's a framework. So now here we can say React is small and it is not complete for all solutions. So React is just small, it's a li small library only. So consider it's about 35 KB co combining with the React and the React DOM. So 35 KB, it will be GG per one. So now you need to depend on other libraries to solve the solutions. That means if you want to make HTTP calls, you need to depend on the Axios. So or other 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 libraries so like this so if you want to manipulate the dom you need to do, depend on the react dom so like this you need to depend on other <coughs> things so that is the reason javascript is a library in angular you will be having one solution everything so react router you will be have uh, sorry angular router will be having angular http client module you're having everything we'll be having so that is the reason we will be having framework now here it's just focus us on only one thing that is nothing but the building the user interfaces so that is right that is main important right so that is user interfaces so you defining the user interface is the main important thing so it's it's focused on only one thing that is the user interfaces so now let's let's see the react history so what is the react history so react was actually created by facebook in 2011 so react it was created by the facebook in the 2011 for their own website facebook.com so as an internal project as an internal library they have used the react js so for their website facebook.com so afterwards slowly they have introduced it in the instagram also so they have used the react js in the instagram in 2013 after using two years these uh, react js in their own uh, own projects so they have open sourced this react in 2013 so in 2013 it came to the public so now it came to public as an open source by that then react has become very popular and used by the many large company companies so from 2013 onwards it has become very popular and used by the many large companies in 2015 so they have released react to react native so react native what is this one is it is used it is used to develop the native mobile apps which is useful for both ios and the android in 2015 they have released uh, they have released the facebook has released the react native so this is the history, brief history about the React JS. Now let's go to another one. So why why I, why we need to use the React? So why we need to use the React is because of its flexibility. And these are the five factors: flexibility, big corporate support and investment, community support, performance, and the testability. So these are the five things based on the keeping 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 in mind. So we need to use the React. So where can I use the React? So now why why we use the React we have seen. So what is React also we have seen. So now where we can use the where can I use the React? React can be used everywhere. So something like React can be used to develop the web apps. So the web apps what we will be discussing in this course we will be using React can be used to develop the web apps. The static websites also can be developed using Gatsby. So it's it's a it's a framework it's a library. So for the uh, React static websites also we can develop and we can develop the mobile apps using the React Native and the desktop apps also can be can be developed using Electron. So desktop apps means which, is, which will be useful in for the Mac and the Windows. We can also develop server rendering web, server rendering web apps using Next.js. So using the Next.js library we can develop the server side rendering apps also. You want to develop virtual reality apps 360 degrees app these also can be developed using react vr so this is the react virtual using this react vr we can develop the virtual reality apps also so 
almost all the types of web related things all we can develop using the react js so these are the place where we can use the react so that means if you learn react once you can able to develop these all the apps these are all different types of apps you will be able to develop using the react so this is the benefit of the react now another one react renderers so you need to remember two two things in the react js actually so first one is the react renderers what is this react renderers is react render is a separate from the react itself what is this react Render. So, for web apps, we will be using the React DOM to convert the components to the HTML. So, if you if you use the React itself in your web app, it is not sufficient. So, you need to use the React hyphen DOM in your web app while developing the web app also. So, React itself, what React library, what it will do is it itself provides the logic for developing the components. We will see about the components and all the things in the coming videos. So, React DOM is the thing main res, uh, responsible for it changing the DOM related things. So, for using the DOM related things, so for, for working with the browser related DOM things, so we need to use the React hyphen DOM. So I already told you in the first right. So, React is not a React only sole React is not uh, useful for the solving the solutions. We need to combine everything to, uh, to solve the solution. So, now for DOM related things, we used to we, we need to use the React DOM. So for web apps, we need to use React DOM to convert the components to the HTML. So the components is developed using the Reacts. So these HTML, in order to convert this one to HTML and update the HTML and all, all those things, we need to use the React DOM. <coughs> for re native React, for React Native, we need to use the React hyphen Native to convert into the native code. So the different types of renderers that are available in the React, can, you will be able to see in this GitHub URL. If you open this GitHub URL. You will be able to see the different types of re renderers. So here you will be able to see for web we will be using the React DOM, React Tiny DOM also we can use. So these are all the different types of renderers that are used in the React JS. So for each purpose you will be having different types of renderers DOMs. Okay. So this is the React J. This is the React thing. So now, so this this is the React renderers. So the the only sole react is not is not useful for developing the web apps so you know you need to use the renderers thing also so we will learn more about this renderer what is this renderer thing okay the performance of the react so how the performance will be there in the react so we know that javascript is fast right so javascript itself is a very fast so javascript is a single threaded language so it will be using the call stack so whatever the execution comes into the call stack it will execute very immediately so within within Seconds it will Im immediately it will execute. So JavaScript engine is very fast. It's, a, it's no doubt only it is fast. But updating the DOM is slow and expensive. So when the JavaScripts want to interfere with the DOM, so that is that browser HTML thing. So if you if it wants to integrate, so update the DOM or in integrate with the DOM means it will be very slow and expensive. So now for this only reason, in order to overcome these slowness and all those things react uses the virtual dom so this is one of the important thing which react has which react gains over other frameworks and libraries so react uses the virtual dom that updates the dom in an efficient way so react uses this virtual dom concepts that updates the dom in an efficient way whenever the state changes in the component whenever the state means is nothing but whenever the data or anything so changes in the component the react take care of updating the dom so the react updates the dom very quickly so as the updating DOM happens in the memory, it will be very fast. So as this virtual DOM, whatever the virtual DOM it is, it will be everything will be stored in the memory. So the update happens in the virtual memory, so that it will be very fast. So the React performance will be very fast rather than com comparing to the Angular and all those things. Angular uses the shadow DOM, so it works on the real DOM directly. But the React per React, what it will do is it works on the it uses the virtual DOM to update the real DOM. Okay, so this is the main difference uh, uh, where the React performance will be increased. And what and another thing what we have discussed about the components. What is this React component? So here we have discussed it, right? So the React itself, the React library itself has the logic which are responsible for rendering the components and all those things. React DOM has this virtual DOM concept and all those things for updating the DOM concept. So what is this React components? So components as you can think that components are just like vanilla javascript functions so what are the functions you are having in your javascript so these are nothing but you can think as it is a component only function what it does so it takes the input and gives us the 
some output so function what it does so just it takes some input and gives us some output so we can reuse these functions right so if you have if you write a function so it takes some parameters okay if you pass some arguments to the function so parameters it will it will take and it will update it will give it will do some logic and it will return some output so the these functions wherever we use we are needed so we can directly use those functions in the same scenario components also takes inputs as props so whatever the props you will be taking so it will take the input and it will give you the ua as the output okay so these are also same thing like reusable so you will be invoking the function so you will be using the parenthesis round bracket something like that you will be using the function and you will be invoking the function but the component invoking will be in a slightly different way which we will try to see in the coming videos okay so this is the react to components so react to components in in react js components are nothing but you can consider is just like a vanilla javascript functions okay now coming to the react alternatives so you you already know in the market so what are the react alternatives present in the market you already know so that is angular view js and the react itself is a model so what is the benefit over this angular and view in the react let's try to see so here react competitors like angular and view separates the html and the logic so if you try to see the view and the angular and all those things it separates the html and the logic so that means the html rendering template and the logic and the logic whatever the javascript logic or typescript logic whatever we write it those all will be written in the separate files so that means for the html what we need to do for example if you if you want to loop over so for looping we need to learn separate syntax for the HTML. So in Angular, we need to use ngfer. Actually, ngfer is not existing in the JavaScript at all. So the Angular has a syntax, separate syntax, morphing syntax for this one for looping over the HTML. Okay. So we will be using ngfer. So that means we need to learn this type of syntax in the Angular. In the same scenario, view also, you will be having v hyphen fer. So in order to loop the list of elements, we need to use the ngfer, v hyphen fer. These type of fake html not fake html uh, fake javascript uh, for loops these all for loops will be useful only solely for the angular or view js okay then also for the same if you, if you want to use the if condition also you need to use the star ng if or otherwise angular vi if and if we need to use so now what the react does so do the react has the same syntax like ng for a vi and for if what it is having is this having for react for or react uh, reactive like this is it having so let's try to see so react uses the opposite way of using this one so react uses the javascript syntax okay instead of having the jsx syntax so instead of having the html template so all the uh, competitor competitor libraries will be using the html template but here the whole html will be written in the javascript itself so this is the exact opposite that means the html will be written in the javascript itself so that is cutting nothing but the jsx we will learn about this jsx in the coming videos so it uses the jsx syntax that means it will be having only one one file that is js js file in the javascript itself you will be writing the html you can tell that what is that html writing in the javascript so we will see what is what will benefit of writing that html in the javascript so therefore there is no need to implement the separate concepts for looping so we should we, there is, so therefore there is no need to implement separate concepts so we there is no need to you learn the separate concepts for looping just like ng for or ng if like this instead we can use directly the javascript map or for loop for looping the dom element we can use directly javascript if you know if you are perfect in the javascript you can use the javascript and you can loop over the elements and also we can use the javascript if condition also for the dom element let's try, we'll try to see in the coming videos how we can use this for loop and off loop so this is all about the react js introduction so the uh, so now we have already seen so what is the react js uses it uses the jsx syntax in the next video what we'll try to do is what is the js and jsx and how we can write the html itself in the javascript itself let's try to see it in the next video so this is all about the react js introduction if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you